that's what I'm looking forward to seeing as well. You know, if uh, you know how far we've come in a in a week. You know, I, I know we still have a long way to go, but I love the process that we're that we're uh, kind of heading towards, and, and I love the way that these guys are competing every day, and I love their energy. So. You know, obviously Monday, you know, tomorrow night against Denver, you know, will uh, give us an indication on some of the things that we have to work on a little bit more or what can we kind of move forward on to the next things as far as defense and offense is concerned. It's only an exhibition, but are you curious to see how Kobe looks? I mean, he's been going against his own guys for a week now. And... I'm curious to see, you know, Kobe, Steve, you know, everybody really. You know, I mean, you know, uh, like you said, we've been going against each other for a week, so it'd be fun to go against somebody else, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of anxious to see how – Kind of all of it all, you know, kind of unfolds. Is there one thing in particular that you want to see tomorrow that from what you've talked to? I, I want to see the intensity on the defensive end. That's the number one thing, you know. And, uh, and, and with that, the number two thing is I want to see how we rebound on the defensive end as well, you know, because those two things have to go hand in hand. And those are the two things that have been the biggest emphasis since training camp has started. Is it also one of those things where you want to see the things that you guys are doing wrong so you can, you know, fix them as opposed to what's being done right well, tomorrow. I mean, you want to see everything, you know, because like, like I said earlier, you know, the things that you're not doing real well, those are things that you're going to point out the next day in practice and try to correct them. Uh, the things that you're doing well, you obviously want to keep doing those things as well. Uh, but, you know, like I said, my biggest concern, uh, like it has been from day one, is on the defensive end, and that's the thing I'm going to be watching the most. Have you thought about how much time you're going to give to like the Steve and Toby? Yeah. Any, any insight on that? <laughs> No. <laughs> have you thought about who else you're possibly going to start and you want to let us know besides your back? I, I have and I don't, do not want to let you know yet. I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow. Yeah. Steve um, did everything in practice. Say, I mean, we had a two-quarter scrimmage, and I had him scrimmage the first quarter and then told him to sit down. He looked fantastic. Um, you know, it's best I've seen him look in a long time. And, and again, excuse me? No issues whatsoever. Shot the ball extremely well. Uh, just... Looked like Steve Nash made other guys look, you know, look better. Made, you know, gave him the ball right on the right on the uh, target, and they were just making layups and jump shots. Uh, he just made the game look easy today. So Byron, when you look at this, this past week of training camp, with specifically Kobe and Steve, how, how do you evaluate what they've done? I mean, did it meet your expectations? Surpass? What's your other off the You know what? If, if you know, I'm, I'm going back to watching all of last year's games, and, and uh, you know, Kobe only playing six games, and Steve was kind of in and out. Uh, to be where they are today uh, in training camp, you know, I'm ecstatic. I really am. They, they've exceeded my expectations uh, in training camp. They came in much better conditions than I thought they would. The rust has got off a lot quicker than I thought it would. Uh, now, both guys are still, you know, a little ways away, obviously. But uh, right now, to be where they are at this time, I'm, I'm extremely happy. So you mentioned conditioning. Are there other parts of that have exceeded expectations? I think with Steve, just his basketball timing, everything seems to be there. Uh, you know, I mean, he's shooting the ball pretty well, which is, you know, a lot of times when you have that much time off, that's, you know, one of the things that takes the longest is the timing and you know, to get that rust off. And both of those guys, you know, shot the ball in our scrimmages a lot better than I thought. They moved uh, very gracefully, didn't look like they had any hiccups. Uh, I mean, so I, I was, like I said, extremely happy with both. Defensively for tomorrow, is there are there certain benchmarks that you want to hit in terms of opponent field goal percentage of points? Well, well, we'll talk about that, you know, uh, during the preseason because when we start the regular season, there are certain benchmarks that we want to hit. You know, defensive field goal precision uh, uh, that you know, that our opponents are getting. You know, we also want to talk about benchmarks on the offensive end as well. So yeah, we got a certain amount of number of things that we want to talk about when we get to that point. Without Nick, who becomes that guy off the bench? Do you think maybe Tommy? He doesn't handle. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Um, you know, we're just going to really have to figure that out. Right now, you know, when we were coming into the season, we really felt that you know, we had 10, even more than that, but uh, 11 players that I really felt that I can count on, you know, in that rotation as far as a first unit and a second unit. So Nick being down and Xavier not here uh, has kind of changed that, you know, so I have to kind of think of it a little bit differently. Kobe was going to play some three anyway, you know, so uh, he might play a little bit more at that position than the two because where I love him on the floor and where he loves to be is below that free throw line extended. You know, that's where he's really been doing damage in practice. So uh, I'm going to just have to think about it. And I think a lot of times it just kind of figures itself out when you're watching guys play. Speaking of the timetable, what was he? 
Xavier just was able to just get some shots up. You know, nothing full court, nothing running. Uh, still has a little bit of stiffness in his back, so we want to see if we can get that going in the next few, you know, next few days before we can really get him out here. Coach, you've had a couple different offensive styles in the, uh, for the Lakers the past few years. How are they adapting to you? So far, real well. You know, I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, Princeton in there, and then you got a lot of just NBA generic sets and then uh, some early things that we like to do. So we've kind of put all those into play, and the guys seem to be taken to it, you know, pretty well. You know, so, again, it gives them all a chance to, you know, play a little basketball. Any timetable when Nick Young is going to be back? No, they said four to six. Four to six. So, you know, he gets the surgery tomorrow. Um, and then from that point on, you know, four to six weeks. So it's probably going to be sometime in – Mid-November, you know, mid-November, late November, somewhere in there.